Hi there everyone, welcome back to another video of Late Late Customs. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, something a little bit new, something I personally have never done before. We will be installing a wall block, rear space as well as sleeve overs in a champ, a Nissan champ back here, right here. So, um, well this is completely new to me. I have like an idea how to put all this stuff in the vehicle. But obviously, um, while I'm going along with everything, you guys will be by my side. While I'm busy figuring out so you guys don't make the same mistakes I do. But this is a customer's car of mine. And um, well, it seems quite straightforward. Like, I know I can contact Ashwin from Rogan Low Garage because I know he has this exact same setup in his vehicle. So, I really don't think it will be too difficult. What we got here is literally... Well, these um, U-bolts, I think that's what you call it. And you obviously have the block as your space right here. So, technically, all that the block does is it raises up the axle, meaning the wheel will sit lower to the arch, meaning you will have a lower drive height in your rear suspension. And one thing um, I want to, um, well, bring a light to you guys that this um, block um, loading kit is actually for a leaf spring suspension so that's why you're seeing two of these right here these are for a leaf spring suspension and the reason why they're giving you U-bots with is because um, well because you are um, adding technically a spacer um, to low um, the rear duff or the rear axle um, you need a longer bolt or a U-bolt and that's exactly where this comes into place so that's about it there in the rear unfortunately there's no really like um, height adjustment in the rear it's literally straightforward so I just need to double check on the measurement on how low this is I think this might be like a like a 50 mil block in the rear it should mean that the bucket should well lower like 5 fingers so it should be around there by my pinky at the current time which I think it will be actually a very very great um, height for the vehicle it's a very very neat vehicle and obviously in front um, what I explained to the owner is that I'm going to adjust the right height in front to the height in the rear suspension so whatever lows it gives in the rear suspension I'll drop the front slightly lower because we do have the adjustability of these um, sleeve overs um, to be honest I'm not really a big fan of the sleeve overs but just looking at the sleeve overs I can already tell that from a sleeve over kit this is actually the rear sleeves because the springs are much thinner so one thing I'm actually very curious about is will this specific kit drive comfortable that's one thing we're going to find out because these buckies don't really weigh a lot so it should be able to handle or the spring or the bucky should be fine with the spring rate of the spring so we'll have to find that out as well i'll take you guys along with everything i will be doing and um, well this is going to be a very very fun day because well um i thought i'll take you guys along with me doing this installation and you guys really wanted to see some other vehicles on the channel so there's this spray painting recently spray painted this um bucky right here and um, the owner of the box is actually a very very good friend of mine these, these paper and these um, stone shop in the rear as you guys can see right there bucky came out amazing um, there were a few issues with the bucky um, the bucky um, actually stood for some time but bucky is now back and obviously well we're gonna make it look spanky and unfortunately guys this bucky is not for sale um, the owner actually got multiple offers for this bucky already so this bucky is unfortunately not for sale, this bucky is very very amazing it leaves me to the question if I should actually get myself one as well and one thing I actually kind of fancy about this specific one is that it has like a very low seat so when you sit in the bucky you're sitting very very low which is kind of nice so I'm actually quite in love with this specific shape of a bucky and obviously if I had to buy me something that's like a little bit crazy in the engine bay but um, before we get started here I gave you guys a walk around on the bucky um, I gave you guys a walk around on what we will be doing with the bucky and I just like to emphasize um, obviously in my previous video you guys would have seen this engine crane in the background I bought this off um, Facebook marketplace I paid a very very decent dollar for it so I bought this as well as a compressor right there that's why I have literally two of the same compressors so the old compressor, the one on the right, is now for sale. Um, I'm selling that one. Might have a buy for it in today's store. But, um, well, it's still for sale if any of you guys are interested. Got me this check. This checks all of us actually very, very bad. Let me actually show you guys this because this, whew, the oil was very, very bad. It was like, 
with the whole thing and the oil mix some sort, I don't know. But then I actually got a guy that um, well, did a call out um, and he actually serviced my jacket at home. It's a guy from Google Eat too. Um, very amazing um, in what he does. And as you can see, the jack obviously stands up. I haven't really got time to put the load on it, but I did the O-rings with a nice full service on the jack. And then we actually did the service on two small jacks, the other two tons. The two two-ton jacks I have here as well. So now all the jacks are fine. This is my new jack, so obviously this jack needs the service. And I cleaned up the yard a little yesterday as well. So you can technically see there's all the scrap there we need to throw away. The bin is in front full as well. We have a few stuff here still. Um, and well, it's, I just wanted the place to look a little bit more neater. And yeah, it actually does look a bit more neater. So let's get started straight away on this bucky. What I will be doing, I will be getting the bucky in front on jack stands or not. I'll just put um, those two jacks in front and then just get this in the rear for the jack stands in the rear because I'm currently using the jack stands on my VTEC. As you guys can see, it's currently on E. <laughs> No, she, she wasn't ready. Uh, let's skip the boring jokes and get started straight away. So I'm first going to get the, the vehicle in the air and then I'll briefly explain to you guys what needs to be done. Assessing what needs to be done, we just need to loosen these um, three nuts on top, and then we have um, well one bolt on each side right here. And we have the brake line to disconnect um, off the strut, and we need to remove the the caliper as well. So once you got those components removed, um, this is a fixed unit right here. So um, this I think will come out with the hub if I'm not mistaken. So it's actually a complete fixed unit. So um, you see, I've, I haven't done this in a while to be honest. Um, last time I actually removed the app like this was helping my neighbors or one of my neighbors at my um, old or previous address. So, yeah, let's get it started. We got the struts out, very very basic, very very easy. So like I said, if you remove these two um, well, nuts, or well, nuts and bolts right here, it's not really like a bolt, it's more like a, a locker bolt, like it locks into place, so you can literally just um, loosen the nut at the bottom. But you have to hit out this bolt right here in order to get it loose, or separate it from the control arm, or the C, or the ball joint unit. Or Rafi, am I getting me confused here? Yes. But um, we got the struts out, so the only thing we need to do now is remove the top mounts. Once the top mounts are removed, we can actually start um, fitting the sleeve over in. I just need to double check on the top section if we're going to use the stop pad or not. If not, then amazing. If we do, we'll need to drill it out. But I'm first going to check out everything. And obviously, we do um, get some rubbers with to make sure that um, the sleeve over is fully locked in place and you don't get any vibrations or knocks from the front suspension. So I'm going to knock out one real quick for you guys and then we can, well I'm actually just going to remove both. Sort out both and then we can take it from there.
One problem we had the current time so with um, this um, unit on right here, you need to grind off this exact same unit right here. So this unit right here is like tack welded onto the threaded part that like um, well turns in the complete shock into this um, capsule if I can state it that way. So um, we just need to grind off this one right here. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it looks like after it's grinded off. There you can see I grind it off perfectly on the without damaging any of the thread and that's the key um, you know that's exactly how you want it to look like afterwards so now the sleeve over should actually slide in perfectly fine and another thing is i think we might just need to throw the center portion out so this is actually a spare one i have laying around so i'm just going to test my drink skills on this one first before moving over to the customer's one but we are done with this one let's knock out that one real quick I just finished now with the sleeve overs. So we got sleeve overs in the side as well as on the passenger side. So um, one thing I'm gonna do right now, I should take the jack stands out, lower the vehicle and then I'm gonna check the drive height in front. And then from there I might just adjust it real quick and then move on to the rear end. But obviously we have to adjust the front end according to how the rear end is. actually managed to get the wheels off real quick so um, I hope I will be able to show you guys this so um, between this plate right here and the leaf spring um, there's like a bracket over the leaf spring so um, I'm entirely sure I'm actually very very sure that this space uh, goes between it because this one has a hole here at the bottom and it's technically like a guide um, to guide you where to put the specific space right here and I'm not sure if you guys can see the in the center right there it has a guide as well so this will technically then just go over it like that and then you should be um, sorted so um, the only thing I think I'll need to remove is 
um, these four nuts at the bottom for these U-bolts. We will be replacing these U-bolts right here with longer ones because like I said we will be um, inserting the spacer to lift up the axle or to raise up the axle meaning you will have less clearance between your tire and your arch meaning have a lower height. This is actually the correct way to lower your rear suspension. Um, on other vehicles, make us on like a caddy, um, this axle I think is actually at the bottom. So it's a little bit more um, difficult to actually do it on a caddy. Um, that's why you get drop plates on a caddy and not drop blocks like this for a leaf spring. So that's why I usually remove uh, my leaf springs on a caddy. But on a vehicle that um, while the axle is on top of the leaf spring suspension, you can get yourself a block to raise up the um, axle to give you some more lows. Just to show you guys the difference between the two. So you are the ones we're going to use and then these are the ones that came out of the car so it's actually quite nice um, well a difference between the two obviously we're going to use these right here so um, as you can see now the, the axle is flimsy because what I did was um, the bucket is on jack stands and I just checked up the rear axle so technically all that's um, well supposed to happen is this is supposed to get in to that space right there obviously centered and then we just throw over these ones and then we should be sorted out I'm really hoping that these bottom holes are big enough for these to go through because these ones are actually quite thin which I think these bottom ones aren't um, big enough so I'm first going to double check that I think we might need to drill out these holes here at the bottom because it's actually quite a difference in um, the amateur. So, yeah, we must start off with that real quick and then we can take it from there. These holes definitely need to be drilled out, so um, these ones go in very, very easily. Check there. Uh, this one right here is quite thicker, barely goes through. So, we need to remove the other one on the other side as well, but I'm first going to start off with this one here. Throw all four of these holes out until um, these ones can actually go through. Then we know we are sorted. So it's actually going to be like this, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. So, well, well like this. So, let's get started with that. Report. Just got it rolled out, everything is perfectly fine, so check here, falls right through. So now we know we are short with that, I actually need to pin this in the vise as well because it's actually like winding out. So I just put my bitchy um, wall in and they are perfect. So I'm actually going to fit um, this side on a time lapse and then um, well I'm going to knock out the other side as well. I'm going to get the block in real quick and then yeah, we can get everything sorted from there.
just finished with the passenger side so um, what I actually ended up doing I actually found um, Ashwin from Broken Lou Garage and um, well I tried to well we said um, well I think this is actually what you call a pump stop for a leaf spring suspension to make sure that it doesn't like bottom out and it can actually carry a load but unfortunately we had to remove this due to um, the u bolts we have are actually thicker than um, the original ones so unfortunately we had to delete this and then with that I had to draw um, the holes a little bit bigger in the bottom plate and then obviously the first few times I had the, the block in the wrong location um, as you guys can see right now um, Ashwin actually gave me a perfect idea to put the block in this plate so it doesn't move around and this plate is secured by the U or the two U bolts um, and it's tightened like it has a lot of tension on here so um, nothing should happen so meaning um, the top leaf spring guides the block um, this um, metal casing goes over the block and this rubber has like a, a pee, pee coming through right here so if you guys look close you will still see like the guide the pee, pee right there so then it guides this axle so I'm extremely extremely happy for that um, everything is coming out amazing this far um, I'm not really going to show that side because it's literally the exact same process so I'm just going to get that side wrapped up real quick and then we are sorted so I hope this actually gave um, you guys an idea on how to do a specific conversion like this um, it's not really that difficult but um, obviously lucky for me I had someone like Ashwin to phone and he gave me a few tips so thank you Ashwin if you're watching the video yeah I'm gonna continue that side real quick this side is completely buttoned up I got the shock back on um, everything is tightened so this wheel can actually go back on but um, I'm first gonna wrap up that side and then once I'm done with both sides I'll put the wheels on and I'll actually lower to the ground and we can actually see this um, champ on the floor just finished off with um, well the chambaki and it's looking amazing we have like say three and a half fingers in the back and one and a half finger or fingers finger and a half in front so um, I'm actually very very happy with the results the only thing is we'll need to test drive the vehicle real quick so um, on the test drive I'll um, one time just drop off the vehicle by the owner but thus far I'm extremely happy with the outcome like it's looking amazing like I could really see myself in a champ like this comment down below what do you guys think beams a lot or what but um, I'm gonna let Tegan pull out real quick and then I'm gonna take it for a test drive and then um, well from there I'll drop off the vehicle by the owner so yeah 
drop a like if you guys are enjoying this type of content because I haven't um, done like DIYs um, well in a, in a few so drop a like drop a comment if you guys think I should do more um, well step by step videos like this I hope it was a step by step to be honest <laughs> um, so comment down below but I could really see myself in the champ and the footprint on here is actually amazing it can still go a bit more lower in front but at the back that's currently the height which I'll be completely happy with like you can definitely still modify the bitchy more in the rear to get the bitchy more lows like removing a leaf spring getting a bitchy more lows but I feel that is sufficient enough right there No lies, but I went over the first P-bump now and I'm extremely happy with just that reaction right there. Like, I was very happy with that now. Like, it's literally not even bouncy at all. I'm happy with the drive, to be honest. Like, I'm extremely happy. Back is a little bit cold, but... Oh. Like, I'm gonna show you guys, like, the... the like the, the rebound reaction of the vehicle when we were going over that speed bump right there in front. You are really need to get yourself a GoPro when you were driving. Like driving with one hand is like very, very sketchy with certain vehicles. Definitely would not recommend it if I were you. I want to get like a nice cap in front of me of this car. So I can let this car go over here quickly. I want to go over like with a... Like a speed because the bucket speed is low but check at that bounce like it's quite decent like it, i feel like the bucket must probably still drove like this i didn't really drive the bucket this morning but i think the bucket could do my example with a pump stop in front because i think the the shocks in front might be bottoming out yeah the, like that so um i think that's my only like problem with the bucket the kind you see there that the shocks bottoming out, but other than that, the bucket actually drives quite comfortable. Drives really, very comfortable. But it's only when a hard ditch, then you like feel like it's bottoming out. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will be ending it off right here. Well, ending it off on a hill with a bucket that's not mine. It's ooh, clear, clear skies, man. Clear skies, yo. I think it's probably in the in the footage right now but i will be ending of the video right here guys um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video yep let me just change gear computer here yeah, there we go i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um well drop a like if you guys enjoyed it if you guys like to see some more content like this definitely drop a comment and um well if you're enjoying the content don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace out